think we should stay here together. Well, I wish I could stay here too. Turns out he's engaged. I hate it when they do that. Musical turned movie Mamma Mia became sma a smash success back in 2008 and left many people saying, gimme, gimme a sequel. Well, this weekend, those demands have been answered. The stars of ABBA inspired an adventure, who inspired an adventure are back, along with some new characters who have musical fans buzzing. Well, here to rate this, of course, is CBC film critic Eli Glasner. So, Eli, where are the dancing queens this time? <laughs> they're, they're, the island is lousy with them. It's filled <laughs> with dancing queens. Now, the thing is, so this is much like the original, a jukebox musical. You can't go five minutes without someone breaking out into a song about walking along the beach, picking oranges for breakfast, taming a wild horse. It doesn't matter. But since the first ABBA musical took a lot of the good songs, you will hear, you know, let's say some deep cuts. Some, some ABBA songs maybe you don't know as well. But the plot, not that the plot's important, but it is a, a tale of romance past and present. So Amanda Seyfried is back as Sophie. Meryl Streep, who played the mother in the first one, is gone. But as a tribute to her mom, Sophie wants to open this hotel on the island. But a storm is brewing because her dashing husband, Skye, of course his name is Skye, is tempted by a job offer in New York. Now this is all an excuse for Sophie to ponder what brought her mom to the island in the first place. And soon the film is filled with more cross timelines than a Doctor Who marathon as we jump back and forth from the present to 1979 where there we see the young Donna as played by Lily James last seen cavorting as Cinderella. Let's take a little more of a listen as she's this recent graduate with Wonderlust. I don't know what my future holds but the world is wide. I want to make some memories. There's an island, Calicari. People used to think if you sailed on from there, you'd fall off the edge of the world. That sounds like the place for me. So there you go. In the present, okay. Sophie is trying to marshal her forces, to get the hotel back on its feet, while younger Donna meets the blander version of the boys who eventually would become Sophie's three dads. For example, young Donna in Paris, where she meets Hugh Skinner as the meek banker Harry, who offers her his virginity and this song to seal the deal. The history book on the shelf is always repeating itself. Strangely, that works. So there you go. <laughs> it's so funny because you can't help but dance to those songs. So the question, the million dollar question, is it worth the money, money, money? You know, I liked it. You did? I, and I say this because like, I feel like the voice in my head like, no, you can't. You shouldn't. I You're love not this. allowed because, you know, the story is scattered. The young men are handsome but all have the charisma of raw scallop. It's silly, sentimental, mawkish, about as predictable as an episode of The Love Boat. But I was in a theater with real people last night. That litany of songs hammered me into submission. It is infectious. Lily James sparkles as the young Donna as opposed to the young suitor. She can actually sing. She has this kind of endless optimism, the big smile. And then there's the present with the return of Christine Baranski and Julie Walters. So they are the dynamos of Donna and the dynamos. And take a look at this. A great example of what you're in for as they meet the hotel manager. Your beauty comes not only from the exquisite structure of your bones and the laughter in your sparkling eyes, but from the goodness that flowers within you like a fountain. I've been washed and brought to my tent. Don't think fountains flower, do they? Mine does. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. So there you go. She's the great. That's Christine there. Uh, and, you know, a lot of the older actors, I mean, they have a lot of fun, and occasionally they manage to transcend the schmaltziness of the source material. Pierce Brosnahan does a beautiful a cappella version of SOS. Really? Really? That was my, I'm like, this is kind of amazing and lovely, but it's SOS, right? And then Colin Firth, like he's the only actor I know, he's doing the choreography and you can kind of tell that he's satirizing it on the inside, but he's still doing it. And yeah. there's like, there's a little glimmer in his eyes. Like he knows how ridiculous this is, but he's going to give in. Were people singing in the theater last oh, night? Oh, they were oh, yeah, singing, clapping, okay, jumping in their seats.
So last week, you didn't quite have angel eyes for another <laughs> sequel. <laughs> You're giggling about this. Tell us. Well, here's the thing. Like, So, yeah, last week, Skyscraper, I didn't love yep. it. And I went in hoping for the best. And I think it's about expectations. I wanted Skyscraper, the Dwayne Johnson movie, to be right. Die Hard 3.0. And, and it was just this kind of brain-dead, manly man movie. Whereas I went into the new Mamma Mia movie basically expecting nothing. But I got, you know, this infectious fun, silly movie. It revels in its ridiculousness. I mean, you have, as we saw, like a flotilla of Greeks coming into shore, dancing on boats, singing Dancing Queen. I was going to give this mm -hmm. three and a half stars. Mm -hmm. But there's one more factor I haven't discussed. Let Ooh. me show you what happens when Sophie's grandmother swans in. Take a look. I'm not ashamed to say the roar of guns and cannons <laughs> almost made me cry. There was something in the air that night. The stars were bright. Fernando. That oh, is yeah. Cher in all her shareness. You should have heard the sound in the theater when she arrived. And so I am giving this four stars out of five. Really? And like a Marvel movie, there is bonus content. Do not leave during the end credits, because if you've ever wondered to yourself, what does Colin Firth look like in an ABBA jumpsuit with shoulder pads and go-go boots? This is the movie that will answer that question.